Hey guys, today it's time for another declutter video. Today I'm going to be getting rid of quite a few of my undergarments, bras, underwear, uh, what are these guys called? Camis. Uh, and bringing in a couple of new pieces to replace them. I have decluttered my underwear and stuff before that, but I just have a lot of pieces that are wearing out on me, so it's time to go through them so I can get rid of what's old and make room for new stuff that's actually going to fit better and not be totally worn out. So that is the plan for today. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get started by talking about camis. Now I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love that they keep you warm and they're good if you just need something to go underneath a shirt that's slightly see-through or something like that. But I hate the fact that they are always riding up on you no matter what you do to try to make them stay in place. So today I'm going to be decluttering all four of these guys and just getting rid of them in their place. I actually recently picked up a bodysuit from Everlane and I really liked this piece a lot. It doesn't have clasps at the bottom, which was what has always kept me from buying bodysuits. But I love that this is going to serve the exact same function as a cami, but just be more comfortable because it's made of a really high quality cotton and I'm not going to have the issue of it riding up on me because it literally just fits like a one piece bathing suit. So I'm super excited to be getting rid of those and I'm really excited to have this piece in my wardrobe. So that is it as far as camis go. Uh, but I do have also all of my bras and underwear, which I keep in these little guys right here. These are just little baskets that I picked up from Target a while back. And I keep all my socks in here and underwear in this guy. So why don't we go ahead and start off by going through I think this is my underwear right here and then I've got bras just kind of smushed in because I don't have that many. Also I know this is a topic that not many people actually talk about on YouTube but I think it's an important one to talk about because let's be honest we all wear bras and underwear and sometimes it's helpful to go through them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bras that I own. I don't think that that's a bad amount, but I do know that this one is one that I don't wear often at all, and I think it's time to pass it on. So that leaves me with six bras, which honestly is something I'm comfortable with, especially because I do go on trips fairly often, and it can be difficult if you're gone for 10 days at a time to, you know, wear the same, you know, bras over and over and over again. So I have, um, well, plus I'm missing one. So I've got my Everlane bra that I'm wearing right now. I've got two of these guys, a Calvin Klein soft uh, bra. This guy I got, I think it's originally from Spanx. I picked it up at a thrift store because it had never been worn. And I have this guy right here, which is another bralette. I am not a large chested human being, so I really like bralettes and just soft bras, but Occasionally, it's nice to have something with a little bit of structure to it. So I'm going to get rid of one. I recently got this Everlane bra that I'm wearing right now, so I'm not in a hurry to, you know, get any more. But I think that getting rid of one will definitely be beneficial. Next up, I think, is socks. Let's go ahead and go through these. I'm just going to dump this out kind of right here on the side here. Let us see what we have here. I've got some really, really thick, cozy tights for during the winter. Those are definitely useful to have. Uh, I've got some thick, cozy socks. I love all three of these pairs. This pair, so I'll keep all of these. I'll just put those back in there, I think. This pair, I think, has a hole in it, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna check right now. I take it back, these are do not have a hole yet, and I do like them, so uh, they are getting a little bit threadbare, so I'll probably just wear them until they get a hole in it, but until that point, I will go ahead and keep them. These guys are like super fuzzy socks, which I love in theory, but in practice, they just are always falling off of my feet, so I am going to declutter these. That leaves me with several pairs of smaller socks right here. Okay, I have a stray sock, so I'm going to declutter that. Uh, these guys, I don't really wear because they're not that comfortable, so I will declutter those as well. Um, what else do I have here? I think I wear all of these 
fairly frequently. I guess these ones, these bright red ones, I'll probably declutter just because they don't match with much else in my wardrobe. But I've got six pairs of socks here that I will keep all of. Okay, this is just a little slip to go underneath a dress just in case it like sticks to you strangely or anything like that. So I will keep this guy because that definitely does come in handy. And then I have a whole bunch of these little slip socks. I've got several of them in nude and several of them in black. Um, I don't think I need to keep too terribly many of these, uh, but they are helpful to have and they do wear through pretty easily. So I think keeping four of each kind would probably be beneficial. So I'm going to do that and I'll let you know how many I declutter. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping four of those and I'm going to be decluttering uh, two and a half sets of socks. Okay, and that brings us to the last section, which is the underwear. So underwear is definitely something that I have been kind of using old ones from way too long ago for too long. And a lot of them are, you know, they're, the elastic band in them isn't working. They're literally unraveling at the seams. So it's time to let go of them for sure. So to replace them with, I brought two new of these organic basic sets of underwear into my life recently and have since then fallen in love with them. So I actually uh, reached out to Organic Basics and they said that they would love to send me a couple of extra pairs. And you guys, these are like the most comfortable sets of underwear that I've ever owned. So I'm getting two new ones in the color black and these are their organic cotton ones. I'm super excited about these because let's be honest, black underwear are just a helpful thing to have. So I just got two new of these guys, and then they also very recently came out with some really uh, ethically and sustainably made uh, pieces that are completely seamless. So they're going to you know, be able to be worn with a dress and it not be visible, which I'm really looking forward to. And so I just got two of these ones as well in the nude color, because let's be honest, if you're trying not to have underwear line seen, you probably don't want the underwear seen either. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting two new of these guys and two new of these guys into my uh, underwear collection. And obviously I want to get rid of two pair kind of in the process as well. So I'm just gonna take this entire thing out. Oh look, more socks. I have two more pairs of tights here. Uh, tights rip really easily, so I think I'll probably hold on to both of these because I do wear them in the winter. I have, oh, my favorite socks. I'll keep these two. Uh, Oh, hey, I found the other one of this pair of socks. Oh, I don't wear these socks anyways because they're not that comfortable, so I'll still declutter them. But hey, I found its pair. I was given a lot of socks last Christmas, which is helpful because I go through socks like nobody's business. I found another random one that I'll get rid of though. Okay. Oh, and one pair of nude tits. Okay, so, oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's Christopher's sock. That's not mine. Right. Okay. Now I have all of the socks where they should be. And let's go ahead and go through these. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick out because I know several of these. Do not want to keep these guys. They're going to get decluttered. Um, these ones as well, not comfortable. Going to declutter them. Also the elastic band is totally gone on those. These guys decluttered. Okay, so my goal is to have 14 pairs of underwear. That way, if I'm gone for two weeks, I can make it underwear-wise, which has happened to me several times in the recent past where I haven't been able to wash my underwear for two weeks. So that's the number that I have settled on. Okay, so that still leaves me with several pairs of underwear that I can declutter once I've picked out the ones that I immediately know that I need to get rid of. These guys are also going to be got, getting rid of. These have traditionally been my period underwear, but now that I have much more comfortable uh, black underwear, I mean, you know what those are gonna be used for. <laughs> um, I'm also going to get rid of these guys from American Eagle. They have definitely been just too worn. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Um, let's see here. I do want to make sure that I keep all of these guys. I've got three pairs of Calvin Klein underwear that I was given. They are all really comfortable, so I'll be keeping those. Okay, I've got a couple other pairs that are from, I think these are from H&M. Those are also very comfortable. 
And then of course my organic basic pairs want to keep those guys. Uh, this one, I have no idea where it's from, but it looks like the elastic band is broken on it. So I'm going to be getting rid of it. Uh, actually, that makes sense because this was a seamless pair that I, you know, wore. But now that I've got nude ones, that's definitely going to be more practical. Um, these ones are really comfortable, but they look hideous. So we'll get rid of them. And then these guys I can probably also get rid of too. Then I have my four new ones that I'm going to be bringing in. And so I'll just add those right there. And I think we are good to go. So all in all, I'm going to be decluttering this pile of stuff. So you've got eight pairs of underwear I'm going to be decluttering, six pairs of socks, one bra, and four camis. The things that I'm going to be bringing in are going to be these two pairs of underwear from Organic Basics, or four pairs rather, organic cotton briefs, and these, I think they have elastisane in them. It's recycled, 82% of it is recycled. So I'm really excited about these guys. I think they're going to be a great addition to my wardrobe. And I'm also going to be bringing in this nice little guy from Everlane. So that is everything that I'm going to be taking out of my wardrobe and bringing in. I'm kind of excited because I am taking out more than I'm bringing in. And I think these decisions will all be for the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know this is a topic that not a lot of people talk about, but I mean, I don't really care. So <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this, that it was helpful just like seeing the process of going through this. I know that it can sometimes be awkward because maybe I'm the only person who does this, but I know that I tend to hold on to underwear like way longer than I should. And maybe that's a bad thing. I'm sure it is, but I think it is helpful to replace them. And I think that um, Organic Basics is awesome for underwear. Um, I'm really excited about that Everline top. And so it's cool that as I'm getting rid of these old things that are pretty uncomfortable, that I'm being able to introduce some really high quality pieces into my, I mean, just undergarments basics uh, that are really going to be helpful, not only because they're comfortable, but they're better for the environment and they're just really well-made pieces. So I'm really excited about all of these. If you guys are interested in either the Everlane uh, bodysuit or the Organic Basics underwear, I'll definitely leave links in the description box below for them. With Organic Basics, if you use the discount code I have, you can get 25% off of your purchase, which is really amazing. And I mean, guys, I love their pieces, but I hope this was helpful for you guys. If we don't know each other yet, my name is Ashlyn and I make videos twice a week on this channel about minimalism, intentional living, and decluttering. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely go ahead and consider doing so below. I would totally appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you in the next video.